check out the view of the sunset. Look at this thing. This is such a big tunnel. Isn't it? That's fine. You can keep that on. Oh, what are they walking for? Where are they walking from? I don't know where they're walking from. Yeah, like people. That's not a place for you to walk. So we are driving up to the cloisters for Tryon Park. Let's wait for them to walk by. A lot of people take the trails here. There's a lot of trails. So they use it as like their loop, their exercise, whatever. That's the cloisters, part of the Met Museum. It's very, um, what is that era? Renaissance. No, it's not Renaissance. It's prior to that. Mm. We're gonna park over here in the corner. I love how people decide how they're going to park up here. Sometimes it's like this, and sometimes it's like they back in. Like everybody just chooses a different way to do it. I don't know why. I would pull up. Because we're probably going to walk up, up over there. That's cool. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah, it smells like somebody's having a campfire. Look, somebody hit the poles. Either that or it's just falling apart. I don't know. Let's go take a look. Now you can access the park from the street down below in the neighborhood, but it's a hell of a climb. Here, let me back this off. You guys can see everything. Like I said earlier today, I did a live stream and I mentioned coming up to the cloisters. I love just coming up to the park and seeing it because it's so beautiful. <laughs> it is like honestly a perfect location for a picnic. Well, I'm not sure what the bathrooms would be besides inside the museum. But here, I'm going to show it to you. Look, oh, that's me. My shadow. I love it. Is he up there? Oh, we always come up here to look for the groundhog. He's the biggest, fattest groundhog ever. I know. You call him Fred? I call him George. George? Where you at, George? The, there he is. There's George. A big guy. He's a big boy. Hey, George. How you doing? Have a good old day. I love it. He's always. Oh, this must be his garden. I can always depend on George being there. He's. He's happy. He's like, I'm hungry. I'm having my dinner. Yeah, I'd say he's about seven, eight pounds. You think he's 12? That's all, that would be it. He's really fat. He's thick, but he's not. I don't know. What do you guys think? How fat is he? Is he a 12 pounder? 10 pounder? He's cute. Leave him alone. I just wanna know where's his buddy. This is like the best ever just to sit out here. Right over here is the Hudson River. You can look down on it. But I will be coming up here to do a, like a video of inside. It's so beautiful. They have tapestries. They're most known for the unicorn tapestries. So pretty.
let's go walk down to the inside. There's also a garden, like a couple of little gardens that I love to go into. We will be coming back. Maybe we'll have a picnic up here with some friends. I think that would be fun. Okay, we gotta wait for the cars to go by so we can walk over there. It's one-way traffic, folks. Look at that sunset. So pretty. See, everybody just gets their stuff. They hang out. It actually feels really, really nice out today. Earlier today when I was doing uh, my live stream, oh my God, do you see the little puppy in there? <laughs> I can't. He's a cutie. He was a cutie. I love it. He popped out his head. He's like, hello. Oh, they still have that closed off. They haven't fixed it at the end. We're going to take a look at that before we head off. I just swallowed a bug. Aww. I, I swallowed a bug. I don't like that. Now we could continue up the trail and see all of the garden. What I'll do is I'll link our other video at the end of this one that actually showcases the whole garden in the spring. It is gorgeous. I'm not gonna do it right now, guys. I'm a little tired from earlier. Cause it's a bit of a hike, which I love, but I'm a little tired. Look, they still haven't fixed it. Oof. That's scary. That's the road we came in on. There's a tunnel. And there is the Hudson River. Over there, Jersey. Hello, Jersey from New York. These juniper berries. Oh, look, water fountain. Joe's like, we can make gin. <laughs> I'm like, I think we need a lot of, a lot of juniper berries, and a still. Let me, let me get right, let me get right on that, Joe. Yeah, in the apartment. We'll love you for that. Could you imagine that bathtub gin? We'd be hearkening back to the prohibition era. Joe's gin.